hi guys and welcome back to my channel it's a Monday so I'm just gonna take you guys around and show you what a Monday looks like for me the laundry is washing right now and I will be doing the rest of that later and I already recorded a podcast episode this morning um, I know that last week and I feel like in a few of my recent videos I've talked about my morning routine so I did not show that today but we went for a walk and I have already done some writing and quiet time and well no not quiet time just like reading my bible and stuff so we already did that and yeah we're just gonna hang out and over there I put up that sun that I made with Liam in my um I forget which video that was my writer wife and mom era that video I showed the craft so I put it up on the wall next to the plant, like the sun is shining on the plant, and I thought it was really cute. Here's a garden update. My tomatoes just suddenly took off, so they're <laughs> shooting up like crazy. These are my bell peppers. I really, really, really hope that they turn out. My cucumber plant, I'm a little worried about it. And my cabbages haven't been doing well and people say that it's because the cabbages are cool weather plants and we've been having such hot weather. We have already gotten some tomatoes, like a few of the small ones, so that's fun. And then, yeah, my jalapeno plant, I'm not sure about that either because it hasn't been growing very, very well. And another cabbage plant that's not really growing well. And my other bell pepper plant. And then I'm really excited because I have some of my Thai chili peppers turning red. And it looks like there will be a bunch more. So that'll be nice. My strawberry plant still looks pretty healthy. And there's my spaghetti squash. Tons of blossoms. We just recently bought these plastic plates at Walmart for like 50 cents each um, just because when we moved um, we lost a bunch of our um, you know ceramic plates or whatever those are so we decided to just get some plastic ones and that way they're lighter for travel and also the bowls um, so that helps a lot the other day Liam had this little ball like maybe that big and we went for a walk and when he got out of the stroller when we went to the creek the little ball bounced out of the stroller and fell into the water and the current pulled it under the bridge before i could get it so we went to walmart and got him this bigger ball for like two dollars and fifty cents and he was so thrilled he was just like whoa and he was having so much fun with this ball leftover taco salad for lunch last week I went on to an organizing rampage and I organized our clothes under the couch so that way let me move the fan they're all under the couch those are mine and then these two are Mike's and then that one's Liam's so it makes it super convenient. So I'm just going to be putting away, away the laundry, but first I need to sort it out. So that just makes it a lot easier. So I'm just going to do that, and I thought maybe we could just like chat a little bit. Um, and I thought that... <sighs> Always dumping out toys when I'm trying to talk. <laughs> but I thought that I would just mention some of you probably noticed that recently I stopped showing Liam's face online um, I just don't feel comfortable doing that anymore so I'm just 
just to let you guys know that I'm intentionally not showing his face so that's something I wanted to mention but I just wanted to talk about like life and stuff that's been going on so Mike's job is doing very very well he's um, doing well at the job they like him and um, if you don't know he takes care of pools and right now he's getting quite a bit of overtime because it's summertime and there's just like a lot of work that needs to be done on the pools so that's really nice and um, it's just wonderful that we're able to save and because our rent is so much less than an apartment would be we're able to save a lot more because of that and like our living expenses are actually very low <laughs> like at one point when we lived in Arizona our living expenses were sinking us very fast because we weren't making enough to meet the demand so that's why we ended up in the situation that we ended up in and now it's like a miracle like God provided this job and he's doing well there and yeah it's just wonderful that we're able to save again and we're able to move forward again so that's just an answer to prayer and something that I just wanted to mention that his job is going very well and so like I feel like life has been a bit hard though like even though we're doing a lot better financially um, it's kind of hard to explain because I'm trying to figure out what all to share online and what all to keep private because there's a lot of things that I'm not really talking about like I kind of keep things personal that I don't want to share just because the whole entire world <laughs> could watch this video and I don't want to have my personal life just out there for the entire world I want to have discernment in what I actually show so it can be a little bit hard to know what to actually talk about but I guess like in terms of the heat we've had an extremely hot summer so far and like yes uh, not yesterday last week there were two days in a row that were 112 degrees and that's just insane there are people who've lived here for years and years and years who say that they don't even remember the summer here being this hot like it's an exceptionally hot summer and that just makes it really hard and like with my workload like I definitely am the one in charge of how much I do um, YouTube is not my boss and so I can set my own hours I can post as much or as little as I want to but right now I'm trying to push myself to do more because I want to see my channel grow and I want to I want to give you guys content to watch and I know that you guys love to see my vlogs and so I'm trying to do as much as I can do right now and sometimes it's just hard to keep up with everything so I feel like I'm just trying to learn balance I'm just trying to learn what works best for me and sometimes it just means I have to Sometimes I have to pull back and sometimes I have to stop doing as much and sometimes yeah I just kind of have to figure it out as I go and YouTube is not for the faint of heart like it takes so much so much strength and you wouldn't even know it like for years I just watched YouTube videos and thought it was thought it was cool and didn't really I, it's kind of funny because recently I was like I used to think that making YouTube videos you could just sit at home all day and make YouTube videos like I didn't realize all the effort that goes into it and so it's just a really interesting process and I really enjoy it like I really really love making videos and I really love being able to have this channel and the fact that I can make a little bit of money is really nice 
I just wanted to say um, thank you so much to all of those who have given through the super thanks feature. It just helps out so much and it's such an encouragement to see that there are people who really, really enjoy my content to the point that they are willing to give. Like, it just strikes me every time and no matter how small or how big the amount is, it just makes me feel blessed and thankful and I just wanted to say thank you so much for giving and being willing to show a tangible way to support so thank you so much so to sort of sum up i guess there are some personal things that i can't really share publicly that i've been facing and um i just wanted to say that in case any of you guys were wondering how i'm doing I'm doing good, but I just feel like I'm battling through some hard things personally and so that's what's been going on and life is good here. Like we really enjoy California and Mike's job is going well and life is good. Our needs are met and we're thankful so much for everything. I sort of feel like Liam has been teething because last week he woke up three mornings well two mornings he woke up at six o'clock and then one morning he woke up at 5 30 which is very rare for him like he normally sleeps till seven or eight sometimes and so i just wonder if he's still teething because his two-year molars in the back of his mouth have not yet come in so i sort of wonder if that's what he's dealing with right now he was really fussy this morning but he is just growing and developing so fast. And I love getting to be a stay at home mom. I would never want to go out and do a job. I want to be here with him every day, even though, even though it's hard some days. Well, it's actually the next morning. And I just realized that I completely forgot to close out the vlog yesterday. So that's pretty much the gist of my Mondays more or less. And I hope that you've enjoyed the video. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.